We're fortunate to have friends like Roy and Diana Vagelos that are just so special, uh, that love this institution. If you were going to try to invent somebody who would be a supporter of a medical school, an advisor to a dean, a leader uh, in medicine, and they gave you a Lego set or something like that, you would build Roy Vachelos. He is truly remarkable. I met Diana and have grown to love Diana Vagelos through my connection with Barnard. She's also a trustee, a role model on the board of Barnard College, and she's incredible. And her husband, Roy, they're our favorite people. He's been my mentor and my advisor, probably one of the most wonderful people I've met in my lifetime. And we worked on a wonderful project, which I know he is very proud of, but I can assure you I'm very proud of also. Let's just say that the years that he ran Merck, it was the most respected company in America year after year. Uh, I don't know how many people know the story about the river blindness drug they developed. That's the kind of thing that a company that was headed by Roy Vagelos would do, make sure that people who couldn't afford treatment got it. One of the many things that I admire about Diana is that she and Roy are a formidable team. She's slightly behind the scenes until you get to know her. Then you realize that she's really at, at the forefront. Roy Vagelos is a uh outstanding executive, outstanding humanitarian. He's unaffected, he's genuine, there's nothing phony about him, he's not a big shot. He's just warm and caring. To start off with, they are warm, down-to-earth, incredibly loving of their family and friends. They're just wonderful people that we just love to know. At a Christmas party during my second year at medical school, Diana and her sister were invited. I met them both and became very interested in Diana. So we started uh, seeing each other, rarely initially, but uh, had increased uh, intensity during the course of my medical education. By the time we were finished, uh, we had pretty well decided we would get married when we could afford it, which was not then. We could both, in the end, have uh, Columbia as an institution in common. Our students at PNS are, I would say, the best in the world. They come with, the, um, with tremendous dreams of what they might do in the future. They are really going to meet with a lot of, of uh, expenses as they go through medical school because the cost of medical education has skyrocketed. I'm an older student and I've had to figure out how I'm gonna pay for my medical education on my own. And I actually just had my uh, debt management seminar and they showed us how how much we'll have to pay for the next you know 20 odd years just to pay this off. We talked about why students don't go into primary care that's a big reason. I met Dr. Vagelos 14 years ago. We graduated from the same high school not the same year though he graduated a little bit before me. If it had not been for scholarships Dr. Vagelos scholarships included I would not have been able to make it to Princeton nor Columbia. Dr. Vagelos is an amazing person. He has lived the American dream and has helped me also achieve my American dream. This is a great example of how a, a truly great university can be even better with the involvement of uh, major philanthropists and donors who care about the institution. We are convinced that if education is available and is of the highest quality, it could be as helpful in solving mm. humanity's problems as anything else we have ever really known about. We are continuing to produce those people who are going to take care of patients, to go into research, and come up with the new ways to help human health. If we can continue to train those people who are so capable that we make tremendous contributions to the world. And that's what it's all about.